So Fusion um, is a dance production um, that explores a variety of different things as it relates to the idea of fusion. I would say first off, it's a fusion of a variety of different movement styles. It's also a fusion, I would say, in terms of fusing uh, music with dance and especially incorporating live music with live dance um, and how those two things inform each other. The instrumentation may be different going from um, doing pre-recorded tracks to, to live music and what, um, what that trajectory is like but then also how the students are figuring that out within themselves. It's just a fusion of culture in general. Looking at the development of community um, and how how there can be joy that sort of comes from getting to know new people and um, experiencing new things together um, as different people. Oh, I'm Bill Jenkins, I'm the department chair of theater and dance. Um, when we first chose Fusion, the idea was what would happen if we took two distinctly different kinds of dance and fuse them together and how would that result in something that was interesting and different and would be more, I guess for lack of a better term, would have a, a, a more contemporary or, or a, uh, a more applicable feel for our students. I was really wanting to hopefully show that even within the fusion of movement that tends to happen in dance, it's important to understand the underlying origins of where those forms come from. Um, so for instance, I very much am a practitioner of American house dance, right? And so I really wanted to show the, the basic foundational grooves of that um, style in order for then students to understand how I, as a teacher and practitioner in other classes, incorporate some of those ideas and concepts within the fusion idea. I love the fact that, you know, Ishmael would sort of like take over in the drumming in one part and then he got up and did sort of become a performer in another part, right? And then you would see sort of the, the musicians sort of become almost dancers at the beginning when they first entered. And then you would see the dancers sort of become part of the musicians. And so I loved the fact that we were creating a, a true multidisciplinary and multifaceted uh, sort of artistic creation that forces students to think outside of their comfort zones and to try different things. I feel like the ways in which we can integrate the educational aspects of dance with the performance, I just thought what a great way for people to see both the history of dance and sort of a, a, a performance that they that captures them in an audience energy that was, I just want that to be done on our main stages because mm -hmm. to me that's where I feel like our audience, we can build an audience beyond what we have right now. I think what I am always interested in is encouraging sort of that natural organic response that we as humans have to seeing things that we love and enjoy, right? And so within dance, there's, there's often been this etiquette um, expectation that you're not allowed to vocalize, you have to sit still, there puts a distance between the audience performers and just the experience. So for me, I, I wanted to continue to um, emphasize and encourage audience participation if it's a true, honest reaction.